to my YouTube channel. My name is Hope Taylor and I am a photographer and business coach serving both Charleston and Savannah. And this YouTube channel is where I share education for entrepreneurs as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. And today I am gonna talk about something kind of fun. Um, this was actually a request from somebody here on YouTube. They commented this on one of my videos from a few months ago and I loved the idea. And so we are gonna be talking about what to wear for a branding session as a small business owner. I think that branding sessions are becoming more and more popular as social media picks up, as digital marketing picks up. I think they've always been a thing, but I feel like for some reason they've become more and more popular over the last few years, which I love. There are so many photographers now that specialize in branding and capturing the essence of your brand and your messaging in the imagery that you use to grow your business. And that's what I wanna talk about because I did my own branding session last year with one of my greatest friends and most talented photographers, Natalie, and I will link her information below. And my gallery from that branding session is a year later, something that I have literally not even started utilizing to the extent that I'm going to be able to. There are hundreds of photos in my branding gallery and we got so much variety. It was an eight hour session. Um, I think I did nine total outfits. We got so much in one day that allows me to have content for social media, for my website, for my blog, for all of my digital marketing content, I use these images everywhere. But planning for your branding session and deciding what to wear for these photos can be incredibly intimidating. And I've gotten lots of questions about how I decided what to wear, where I shopped for what I wore and all of those things. So that is what we're going to talk about. So this is my branding session gallery from Natalie. They are absolutely beautiful and you can see this like highlight section kind of has a sneak peek into all of the different outfits that I wore and then as you scroll down she organizes them all by outfit and one of the things that I think a lot of people didn't realize about this branding session is that I set a rule for myself that I was not going to buy a single new outfit for this shoot um, and that might not apply to you if you aren't somebody that dresses up often then maybe you do need to buy one or two things for your branding session but I told myself, I love to shop. I had a closet that had more than enough to choose from for this. And I wanted these brand images to feel true to me and my business and my day to day and outfits that I would normally wear. I didn't want to go out of my way to buy something super formal or buy something that was special for the branding session, but that I might never wear again. I wanted this to truly be represent me and the season that I was in and the brand that I've built with items that I already owned. And so there was, I think maybe two things that were props that I bought from Amazon for this shoot everything else I already owned. And I think going into a branding session, you typically have kind of three categories or goals um, and images that you wanna get at this shoot. Uh, for me, those were one, professional headshots. I wanted to have a variety of options of headshots to use as my profile picture on all of my social media outlets, as my professional headshot on my website, um, and as the headshot that I would send to any other businesses or conferences or events that I spoke at that would represent my business well. Um, so that was goal number one, really professional, on brand, beautifully executed, professional headshots. Number two was in action content or content that was images of me doing the things that I do in my business every single day. Um, and I think that as photographers, typically you end up getting just a lot of pictures of you holding your camera, but we do so much more than that. Our day to day is so much more than just taking photos. So we wanted to capture all the different facets of my business. We wanted to capture the fact that I do editing, that I do podcast interviews, that I speak and teach on mastermind calls. We wanted to capture every every tiny little thing that I do in my business on a day to day that I would otherwise probably not capture. We wanted imagery to represent all of the different types of work that go into running a successful business. So that was goal number two. And then goal number three for me was I just wanted general social media content that represented my style. I wanted them to feel fun. I wanted them to feel on brand, but I didn't really want all of them to have a goal. I wanted some of them to just be fun images that represented my brand and my business. So those are the three kind of types of images that we captured. And I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through my full branding gallery so that you can see the types of images that we captured in each outfit and why I chose each outfit. So let's dive in. 
So these images here, we started in downtown Charleston for my branding session, and we started with the dressier outfits. So these were, the goal of a lot of these was those professional headshots that I mentioned. Number one, professional headshots, that's what these were. So we started with this really pretty lemon jumper. It's just super on brand for me, really fun colors, but without being my exact brand color. I think that that's something a lot of people struggle with too, is that they try to find outfits that are the exact colors that they use in their brand. I use light pink as an accent color in some of my branding, but my brand color is light blue. That's what I'm known for. And I actually am not sure that I wore a single light blue outfit because the same way that you typically don't want to photograph families in white tops and blue jeans because then it just looks too matchy matchy. I didn't want my branding images to be so on a brand and like limit myself to only the colors that my brand usually has. So this was on brand from a style perspective, but not necessarily right in line with what my branding colors are. And I think it's important to give yourself that freedom. So we moved very quickly. So we probably only photographed about 15 minutes per outfit, uh, but you can see we got so much variety. This image right here is one that I use as a header on my website. Um, lots of really fun content that feels professional and elevated. Same with these here. Um, we just wanted some professional elevated headshots and content. We did kind of have a general goal in mind or an action in mind for each of these outfits. So we didn't go in blind. We said, okay, with a lemon jumper, we want professional headshots. With the purple dress, we want to capture images of you shopping because that's a huge pillar of your brand and who you are is that you love to shop. So let's capture some with shopping bags in this outfit. So this purple dress was just for really fun content, but we did have kind of an action item that went along with every single outfit. So this purple dress's action item was just cute social media content. So there were some that were a little bit more general, uh, but then as we move down, you'll see that each outfit kind of had a specific thing that went along with it. So this is the only blue and white outfit that I wore. Um, this is now my like key photo and everything everywhere. Uh, I think it's right down here, this one. So this is what we captured to now use as my profile picture, as my headshot that everybody sees and that I send to everyone. Um, so this was the most quote unquote on brand outfit that we did. And then this is when we kind of get into having an action or a goal associated with every single outfit. So this pink uh, and white striped dress was again, very on style with my brand, very cohesive and consistent with what you would expect to see me wear on a day to day. Um, but we wanted to get some shopping related outfits and um, images because I'm huge into shopping. I do a lot of influencer type of content where I'm sharing links to everything that I bought. And we wanted content that represented that section and fashion of my business. So that's what these images are. And then again, some of these header images on this pink wall are now featured on my website. And next we wanted to really capture Charleston. Charleston in itself was a huge part of my brand. I don't live there now, but I still serve that area with my services very often. Um, so we wanted to capture something that was very Charleston-esque, um, something that was maybe a little elevated and a little unrealistic, but just created really beautiful content that was still true to my brand and the vision and and my day to day, right? Um, so this was a little picnic setup that we did that created some really, really fun content for social media. Um, and we did some reading, we did some, let's see here, we did some magazine stuff down towards the bottom. So then this is when we get more into the photos that really represent my work. So we did downtown Charleston to represent Charleston just to get some on-brand styled images and a professional headshot. Now we're moving into goal number two that I mentioned, which was capturing all of the different things that I do as an entrepreneur, because I didn't want to limit myself to just having photos of me holding my camera. So a lot of these images capture what a day to day with me what might look like. So this is me walking out to my patio with a refresher in hand, sitting on my laptop. We have some funny face ones that are just true to my personality. Um, reading on the patio, I'm wearing this sweatshirt because it's the sweatshirt I gift to all of my coaching students. Um, and so this was this set on the patio. Then we moved into my office and we wanted to do again, things that were true to what I was actually doing in my business. So we have some images of me doing quarterly planning. We have a bunch of images of me teaching and talking. Um, and as we move down now, I'm podcast interviewing. We wanted to be sure, again, capturing actual things that I do in my business. Um, another huge part of my brand is interior design. So then we moved into some in-home decorating images, 
And you'll see that all of these outfits are very, very neutral and also just very simple. Like there's nothing over the top about any of these. Let's scroll back up. I'm wearing jeans and a white sweater. I'm wearing a sweatshirt and a ball cap. I'm wearing this white dress was, I can't remember exactly where it's from, but it was like $20. Like this is very, very casual. I wear that dress all the time because I, again, I wanted them to feel authentic and organic and true to my day to day. And I also wanted them to be consistent with my branding and my imagery so that that could be used on my website and not clash with everything else that I share. So lots of neutrals happening in this kind of chunk of the gallery. And then we moved down into my kitchen. Um, I wanted to do some kind of fun on brand images that were like my favorite snacks and things that I share about on social media often. So my favorite ice cream, Oreos, and then we did more interior design stuff. Um, we did a lot of decor and this was just a section of my home that I shared a lot on social media. We wanted to highlight it. And then we did some celebratory images, which is actually a suggestion of Natalie's to get some images that had confetti and had an eight balloon for eight Eight years in business so that these had a specific purpose because you always get to those seasons in business and you don't have the perfect photo to share so we captured a bunch of celebratory images that I could use for a variety of content and then some eight-year anniversary photos um, this is my parents' house, so we went over to the pool, did some by the pool, which again, just true to my day to day. And then these two sections are really special to me. I wanted these images to be a well-rounded, all-encompassing view into my daily life and my values and what was important to me, both in business and in life. Um, and so these are images with my family. I wanted to capture like a poolside evening with my family, which is something we do so often. And these images are so important to my business, but also just so important to me personally. So these are all family images that we did. And then if you keep scrolling, I also got some with Hayden, my fiance, um, because again, I wanted consistent content that represented everything. So I knew that on the about me section of my website, I could introduce myself, my family, my work, my fiance, and every different facet and element of who I am and what I do. And again, the outfits so casual they were not anything crazy some maxi dresses some white sundresses um, and a couple of like jeans and top outfits but we planned this in advance and what we did that I thought was so helpful again a suggestion from Natalie is that I ordered big plastic storage bins off of Amazon super super cheap and I filled each bin with the outfit and the shoes and the props and the jewelry that were going to go with it so I had eight bins <laughs> that represented each different thing that we were going to capture and I wrote on them exactly what they were for so downtown Charleston headshot downtown Charleston picnic family by the pool um, they all had a label so on the day of the shoot we could throw the bins that we we needed in the trunk and take them with us wherever we were going and I was already pre-organized with everything from the type of bra that I needed to the shoes to the props to the jewelry it was all in that bin so I hope this was insightful I hope this was helpful I've never shared that whole branding gallery so I hope that was fun to see I would love to have you subscribe to this channel for future videos about how to build your business as an entrepreneur I'm hoping to hit 10,000 subscribers this year so it would mean the world to me if you hit subscribe thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week